it's a very cold and dreary day here. Um, I've realised that I have no almond milk left, no biscuits, no bread and no Christmas tree. All of which seem pretty um, necessary right now. Um, I need tea and biscuits to operate. So um, I'm heading up to the end of the road to go and grab some bits and I also saw that they they have like a little shop that's selling Christmas trees so I'm gonna see if any of those are any good and try and fit it in my smart car which could be fun um, but I only want a little tree really this year um, so I'm gonna see what I can do this could be really funny so you heard what I went to Lidl for and I have come out with mulled wine stolen and a turkey tin. I despair of myself. Okay, so in hairdressing, it's customary that you have to have a really bad pun name for your hairdressers. And um, there's one particularly bad one. Blonde dye bleach. God love it. Here's the Christmas tree place. So the Christmas tree man wasn't there. He's apparently in the barbers over the road there having his hair cut and it's got a little sign that says come back in five minutes so I'm just gonna sit here like a lemon and then pounce on him when he gets back because I've seen a tree that I like although they're all in plastic wrapping so I'm not sure how I think that I like that particular tree but des designer eye maybe maybe you can just tell good stuff even when it's in its wrapping I don't know I think I'm deliriously hungry. Eating some crisps, waiting for the Christmas tree man. I'm starting to wonder if I want a Christmas tree. I've eaten my crisps. It's been a lot longer than five minutes. I feel like this, this is verging into discount territory now. I've left because those back in five minutes signs are a lie. Now I don't really want to go back there because I'm a bit annoyed. But it's only up the road and I want a Christmas tree. <laughs> the Christmas tree saga continues. I am going out to try again. And so much time has passed that it's starting to go dark. Let's see if Sarah can find a Christmas tree for the third time today. Tree mission complete. Two very nice men just dropped it off for me because it definitely would not have fitted in a smart car. Don't you whittle up it. I know, yes, it's a tree. It's okay, it's a tree. Are you confused as to why there's a tree in there? No, it's okay. Got all the bits of cardboard you chewed up. Don't you start just because your brother has, no.
all the Christmas stuff down from the loft and getting the tree up, hoovering, cleaning, trying to make the house look a bit more presentable and slightly more Christmassy. Um, which I do actually struggle with Christmas a little bit. Um, this is going to sound really depressing, but Christmas was so soon after my mum passed away that the first year I just like railroaded into it and just had my head down and I was like the most Christmassy person you could ever meet. And then the subsequent years afterwards I found really, really difficult and I've never kind of got that um, that Christmassy feeling back. So I try and force myself into it a little bit. So it feels nice sitting here with the Christmas tree and stuff. Um, so I was just sitting writing a plan for um, geek stuff and salon stuff and I got a call from the salon um, at like eight, well it was ten past eight at night and it is our late night tonight, we do stay open late on a Thursday um, to try and accommodate people um, but they've just had a nightmare they've had a nightmare, um, there's a lady in there and she was being very rude, very patronising, very condescending and um, it was my manager who is just phenomenal phoning me to tell me about what happened because what tends to happen is they jump um, they see my name on the website and then they jump authority and they then go from Dina to myself and they normally have a different version of events and the problem with hairdressing is very similar to the design industry it's very subjective we all know from that dress thing you know the the um that thing that was going around a while ago where it was like is it a blue dress or is it a gold dress we all perceive colors in a very very different way and what looks right to me will not look right to the next person and i found that throughout my design career that you know i can love a color palette and think you know when i'm presenting concepts to a client and i'm thinking out of all of these, they're surely going to go for this one because it's so clearly better. And then they'll go for the one which is the one that's probably your least favourite. Um, and quite a similar thing can happen in hairdressing. It's it, it can be very subjective. I mean, aside from if you're like clearly turning someone's hair green or something like that when you're clearly in the wrong. But aside from that, it can be a very, very tricky business. So I was just sitting here writing a load of stuff about content plans and um, plans for 2017 and um, bits and pieces that we need for things and I was just having a proper chill out and then got a phone call and I've had to call the two stylists that were left at the salon and just speak to them and reiterate that I'm not angry with them. <laughs> I know that they've done their best. Um, because replacing an awkward client is easy, but replacing really good stylists, which those I'm so lucky with the group that I have now. It's I've waited years to have a group like that, and they're just phenomenal. And I'd hate to lose any of them because they were anxious about coming into work because they felt like the salon didn't have their back or anything like that. So I just phoned them and spoke to them, and I then told them to get home and have a bath and try and chill out and not worry about it for the rest of the night, which is easier said than done. Yeah, it's been a funny day, really. I thought I was going to crack on with work this evening. Um, and although I have been in my head, uh, I haven't actually physically been sat in front of a computer for most of the day, which actually is, um, is okay. Like, you don't have to be sat in front of a computer all the time. Someone once told me that we should think about our computers as... A machine to or a machine to get something done so we only sit at our machine when we need to use it to get something done we all have a tendency to sit in front of it thinking that we're working instead of using it for a very specific purpose in order to get something done and I'm gonna try and do that a little bit more because I do find myself going off on a tangent sometimes I really don't like that either one of my friends actually turns the internet off while she's working on her laptop which I think is quite clever. So she only puts it on in bursts throughout the day and then she turns it off the rest of the time. I think that's quite cool. I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening just planning out some content and um, I'm trying to find a photographer for a few things at the moment. 
as well. And then I might have a bath. Feels like one of those nights where I need a bath and I've got a headache at the moment. So I could really do with an early night as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap up Vlogmas Day 7, I think this is. Um, and hopefully I will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for following along with this. Um, it really means a lot that some of you are tweeting and just leaving comments and stuff. It's, it's really cool. It's really nice to see um, and meet some new people. So I will see you tomorrow.